Mr Agnew and then Johnson, please. Chairman, thank you very much. This, is, this subject of regional quality branding is actually a minefield. Uh, and I'll give three examples of where you can get very, very confused. Sometimes there is, it's just a generic recipe like Cheshire cheese or cheddar cheese. Cheddar is a geographical area of Britain. It's a range of hills. Cheshire is a county. But cheese, with those names, it's a recipe. It's the way you make the, way you make the cheese. It doesn't necessarily have to be made in those places. There's nothing particular about those places that would make the better cheese, as far as we know. But then you can get the thing more closely defined, Stilton cheese or Melton Mowbray pork pies. Now, these are towns in Britain who have a traditional uh, heritage of making these things, but they have to get the European Union's permission or they have to wait with bated breath to see if any other member states object to them being able to have the right to that recipe. I think that's quite wrong. It should be the member state who should decide on this. Then we get, uh, on the other side of the coin, where actually the geographical area is crucial. So you have Fenland potatoes. Now the Fens are an organic soil, a black soil. Any potato grown in those soils has a black appearance to it. The soil sticks to the potato. It doesn't matter what variety it is. It could be King Edward or Majestic, Pentland Crown, any of them. Quite different potatoes, but they've all got that appearance. They can only be grown in the fens. Finally, we have perhaps a dish called Welsh, ra Welsh rabbit. It's actually nothing to do with rabbits, but the European Union could well get in the muddle on this. I suggest that you leave this to the member states concerned and don't interfere with one another's traditions. Thank you.